Lucy with Miscata Road Trips and today Cliff and I have started our adventure on a road trip to Arkansas. There's Cliff. <laughs> anyway guys, we were headed down the road. We're about two hours out of from our house on our way and we saw this little place on the side of the road. Don't have a clue of what it is but it's a neat little place. It's um all kinds of buildings looks real old and rustic don't know if it was some type of little camp or there's a lot of little cabins now we have checked and um, the houses are locked up but we thought it was neat so we thought we'd just walk around and show you a little bit of what is out here like I said, we have no idea what took place here, if this was a camp at some type, or if somebody lived here, or they've even got really old tractors. Like, I don't know what that is. That is a disc. A it's what? A plow. Oh. But it's a special one. It's like, this was something to do with turpentine or the pulpwood industry. Oh, there's a sign on. In the old days is what it looks like. McCraney Brothers. Property's been placed on the National Register of Historic Places. And we don't even know what it is. <laughs> no, but it's got McCraney Brothers on the side, so I'm going to have to look that up and investigate it and see. This, I think it deals with turpentine making. It could very well. That's a big vat. And right here, it's like whatever would fill this vat up. There's stairs. And there's a still type thing up yeah. there. And then this comes, it's got a pipe right here that comes out. What's up in there? Oh, the bookie man. Huh. Oh, I'm hitting things. <laughs> I'm gonna walk around this way and see. All right, I'm gonna go around on this side over here. I wanna see what's over underneath the little pole barn. All kinds of wood out here. We've seen this place a couple of times and we've wondered what. I'm assuming that's Cliff. Yep, there's a boogeyman in there, guys. Can y'all see him? Ah, he's getting closer. <laughs> We'll go around that way. Yeah, you're getting closer. Look at this big old tractor. Big old tractor back here, Cliff. Yeah, I shut that door back when you go in and look. Okay. This, yeah. This is turpentine. Oh, this is what they used to put on the trees to catch the turpentine out of the trees. Yep. This yeah. is an old turpentine I remember factory. that. These things, for y'all that don't know what I'm talking about, these, you would see them hanging up on the side of the pine trees and stuff around here all over the place back and in the day. They can cut notches in yep. the pine tree. And, and then it would drip the sap down into it. Yep. Similar to maple syrup making, I guess. We'll have to um, look up the McCraney Brothers and see what that oh, says. I thought it was an international. This is a farm all. That's an old track. It looks old. It's a big one, though. Mm -hmm. That's what, this is probably a planter. Hmm. 
I have no I idea. Planting, uh, pine trees. Might be. Let me go look inside the barn. See, they got the still set up or the yeah. thing to where they boil it down. I want to walk up there and look too. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah. I said we've seen it a couple of times, but um. You might need your light in there. Let's see. See if you. Well, this is all concrete and. I didn't realize all this was in here. Look at all these old stuff. That's they must have done tours here for the old safe. Oh wow. That one's a couple of years old, ain't it? Yeah, that is old. I thought I saw somebody walk by that door. I don't know what this is. Got all kinds of little gadgets. Voltage. Hmm. Here's the old barrels. I guess I know. They would the store. Are neat. Yeah, they are. Old tools. I don't even know what half these things are used for. That's resin that's on all that. Wow. Can't believe they just leave this open and Either nobody knows all this is here, but it seems like people would come in and steal some of this well, stuff. You're out in the middle of nowhere. That's in true. Oh. No. Who are you calling a <laughs> hoe? <laughs> here, get up on this barrel. I want to see if you can walk I it. I can walk it. Go ahead. I'll watch you. Yeah. It's flammable. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'd be going so fast. That tool's marking on the walls where everything hung. Oh, ain't that neat. <laughs> Obviously, they wasn't very organized because <laughs> they didn't put it back. Yeah, really? Somebody had a good idea. I wonder idea. if these steps are in good shape. Okay, I'm trying not to... The a little stiff. All right, you go up them and then I will. Yeah, don't come up with me. Because... They're not the sturdiest. That's why fat men walk on the edges. On the ends. Well, check this out. So well, this is... That's copper, I think. So this... I don't... Oh! I have no idea what that shoot assembly is for. I don't know. That is Oh, weird. maybe roll barrels? Oh, might be. I'm not sure. What's oh. up there? It's got a worm in it. This is like a giant steel. <laughs> it's got a cooling worm. Or, oh, well, in I this thought case, you were talking like a, a, a worm, worm worm. The heat off of this goes into that worm. Well, I thought you were... heats it all up. Oh, wow. He said a worm. I'm so stupid. I'm thinking, there's a big old worm in here. There's a big worm. A live worm. That's pretty amazing. Long way down there. This has probably been here for over a hundred years. Probably. I wonder if the men, the McCraney brothers or whatever, lived out here too and maybe these were their houses. 
that's the house there. There's a house there, and that looks like a house back there. I guess it could be, yeah. We'll go walk out People there. Lived on site. <laughs> I didn't see him walking. He looked too funny, but I tried to catch it. Ah, trust the center. Well, you're about a good 140 pounds <laughs> lighter. Oh, Lord. Okay, we're on ground again. It's right. <coughs> pretty amazing little find. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I like seeing stuff like this, y'all. I like being able to bring out things like this. This is really and truly what the channel was supposed to be about originally was just misguided road trips just wherever we went and stopped and you know saw things bringing it to you and letting you see it instead of it all being paranormal and i i like doing the paranormal don't get me wrong but i do want to bring more stuff like this to the channel so y'all let me know if y'all like it Check out that big tractor. Makes me think of that country song, International Harvester. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, this sucker would pull, drag, move any, anything mm. it needed. It. Needs a little air in its tire. And the thing Model is... Model 1944. You could probably get this thing running. Wow. Because these old things didn't die. <laughs> and it's been undercover. Sit up there, and there's your controls and your steering wheel. Who's the man in charge on this big thing? Of course, that farm all over there is pretty good size, too. <laughs> Now what are those, what is that, those tires like for? That is what, uh, before they put the rubber tires on, uh -huh. this is a, what they had. This is probably a 1920s tractor. Oh, wow. Farm all. This is probably from the 20s. So this is what they had, steel tires. Dang. Even the front. That's crazy. This amazes me. This is all out here in the middle of nowhere. And this could be restored. People would love to come out here and get this and restore it. <laughs> I imagine. I don't know. Is that, that's a railroad cart thing. Yep. Probably the show what they use. Had the train somewhere around here and they hauled stuff up to the train depot. <clears throat> there ain't much to that little motor. Nope. Chug them on. <laughs> and they might have carried people, yeah, because it's the benches on either side. Yeah. So they would have carried people on there. I guess it was for people transport. Might have been. Got a trench back there. There's what? Like a trench. That Which runs. could have been an uh, old rail bed. Yeah, it could have been. That's what I was thinking about. My voice sounds funny. I guess from being... We've been sick, guys. Both of us just had the flu. That's why we haven't done any videos lately. I don't know where that gate goes to. It's pretty out here, though. Some really pretty trees. They even had their own gas pump. Yeah, I forgot to show y'all that. It's 
old gas tank over there. Pretty neat. That monster of a contraption. There's an old car over here. Might have been. This is number seven on the front of the building. There's filing cabinets out there. That's why I was thinking this could be the office. Let's see. I think it's padlocked closed. Yeah, locked up. Bunch of old chains. Look at it. You see the chain? That's a big old piece, yeah. Yep. It's all kinds of stuff thrown up in there. Stuff I don't even know what they, what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Here's an old filing cabinet. Spiderwebs. Nope, but there is a piece of paper with something. I'm not reaching in. Oh, I'll be brave. Uh, it's cold. The snakes aren't moving that fast. You can see quicker than them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... Yeah. Back door's open. Oh, is it? Yep, I can see it around. Ain't that special. We'll go in there. We'll go check it out. I was wondering what that was. Taylor. Oh, you have to show Alan this one. Uh, I can't see a date, but I'm sure there's. I'm sure it's old. I see the serial number and all. Oh yeah, it's definitely old. Goes way up there. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and Cliff's gonna drop fire it. up. Let's see. The key's in it. The key's in it? Yeah, it ain't turning over. Uh oh. <laughs> well I wonder why I won't start. <laughs> Look at all the Ooh, cables. Nowhere. Cables running up there and then it <coughs> runs over here. This piece. Okay. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that. Pull that pine down. That tree is just hanging there. Check out this old car. Yeah, I think it's seen better days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, what do we got? I have no idea what this is. I know. It's hard to tell with all the dents. Oh. Straight V8. Flathead V8, maybe? Well, I, I'm not sure. It's a low it's rider. It's a low rider. <laughs> <laughs> low rider. Pond, oh. uh, an old Pontiac. Oh, it's a Pontiac, huh? Hmm. Yeah. That's a trip. I think it's driven its last drive. All right. All right, let's walk back over to this little house and check it out inside. There's a house in the woods over there, too. Oh. I don't know if that's part of this or if that's just the neighbor. Oh, yeah. I think I see a fence line running over Yeah. There. 
Yeah, I saw that cooler whenever I looked through the window. I see holes in the ground. Hello? It's like a like storage, storage place. Shine your light over here. Yeah, that's just storage. School desks, old chairs. You steal your light for a second. Oh, that's the front door right there. So the place wasn't that big. Mm -mm. All right. Not a filing cabinet. So you can look around. Way. United States flag. Pretty neat that they just left everything and nobody's come in and done anything. I know. That's a testament to the community as far as the small town. Yeah. And hmm. All the other people's stuff. The old chair back there too. What is the, this is, that is a medical bed. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out because I knew it was like a box spring, but then it had all this metal um, yeah. mechanical stuff. Medical bed. Somebody's house <coughs> years, they've stored here for whatever reason, and they might have passed away years ago. Who knows? Yeah, when was in here? That is an old pocketbook. <laughs> that's a pocketbook. That's what I it looks it was like. A case of some kind. I don't know if the zipper works or not. Hold this for a minute. All right, I get to film. Yay! Yeah. I am a filming yeah, guru. Oh, no telling. There could be crown jewels in there. Yeah. Uh. Bug. The treasure of Sahara, what is it, Sahara Madre? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Or I don't know when that cut off, guys, but. But we have found a true pecan. <laughs> that is a pecan. The others are pecans. Nope. The nuts are pecans. No. Nope. This is a pecan. You nuts stick it next to your bed of a night. <laughs> and then you didn't have to get up and go to the outhouse. A pecan is what you eat. Not to store pea under your bed. Because <laughs> <laughs> you didn't grow up with an outhouse. No, nope. old chair. A lot of old stuff up in here. There is. There's stuff I don't even... And some newer stuff too. Oh, a big steamer trunk here. Hmm. It don't open. Yeah. <coughs> All kinds of stuff. You want me to? Yeah, you want to film back there and show them? Oh. A neat little dresser of some kind. Maybe that was their desk, the office desks. A school desk. We're talking a very old type school desk. Little uh, 
Little House on the Prairie version. Oh, a buzz saw. Oh, I gotta look at this. Oh. All right, this saw. You see the blade here, down here. There's that big blade. There's a good shot of it. Here's the pulley. Come back. You would have a motor mounted back here. You engage that blade these big wheels on this thing, you start walking. Anything in your path, trees, brush, anything, it'll take it out. <laughs> and you can take this and rotate it to where the blade's up on the side, and that is your uh, portable sawmill. I had one as a kid. Dad wouldn't let me run it, but because that that's something I remember as a kid we would go out and cut down trees with this thing and then dad could make tr uh, lumber out of them and we would build out buildings or he'd sell the lumber that's cool it was a lot of hard work I imagine and that thing was dangerous as can be because there's no guards or nothing no safety if somebody got too close yeah with that thing or if it kicked in a tree and it kicked around on you mm -hmm. it could it could uh, hang up in a tree and kick out and spin the whole thing back on the operator oh wow that's dangerous. yeah that was very dangerous <laughs> wow A long time ago, I would say. No. No? This looks like what they use to pack a lot of their stuff. Oh, uh, probably. Should be a date. Yeah, this is 1978. Wow. That's pretty cool. So. That newspaper is only 10 in, years younger than me. <laughs> if they packed this stuff in 78, yeah. how long has this been set and abandoned? It must have been a while. Just it's 1978. It. You got it? Yeah. Wow. If they packed it in 78, then we're talking before that that it was actually. Yeah. Oh, man. Dirty. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got dirty. Oh, wow. He's dirty. I can't take him nowhere looking like that. Yeah, that's a house we can't get into, and we ain't breaking house. into it. So. Look at the lightning rod on the top of it. Can you see it? I can, but I don't know if the camera can. Let's see. That's kind of neat. That is pretty cool. There, hopefully y'all can see it. <laughs> that is pretty cool lightning rod. I'll just shoot back over there. Yeah, I did just a little bit oh, here too. Yep. Alright guys, well I guess that concludes the first stop of our road trip to Arkansas really didn't plan on this it was just one of those things that we were driving along we'd seen it before we thought about stopping before but usually we're running late or whatever and so this time we decided to stop and i'm glad we did it was a simple place yeah. hope y'all like it if you did enjoy it hit that thumbs up button subscribe and do all that youtube stuff i can't talk do YouTube all that <laughs> exactly <laughs> do all the youtube stuff all right guys thanks for being here thanks for watching much love and i will see you on the next stop all right bye bye, bye.